Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vic and in today's video I'm going to show you how to crop using Inkscape. Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphic editing tool. This is a cross-platform tool that you can download for Windows, Mac, and Linux. In today's video I'm going to be using the Linux version. Now before we get started, we're just going to be downloading a file that we're going to be working with. And one of my favorite places to download images that are free to use is pexels.com. Just going to scroll down here because I've selected an image for us to work with today. And I really like this one here. I'm going to go ahead and download this. Now I've loaded up a blank document here. Now just as a quick check, we are using Inkscape version 1.1, which is the latest version at the time of recording this tutorial. Now one of the most common tasks that you end up doing using a graphic editor is typically just cropping an image. Now it sounds super simple enough, uh, however in Inkscape it's not as intuitive as we might think. In fact, there is no cropping feature in Inkscape. Uh, what we'll actually be doing is clipping an image. So to show you, first we're going to import our image that we had downloaded from Pexel. So I'm just going to drag and drop that into Inkscape. It's going to press OK to whatever the default is in here. And as you can see, our image is quite large. So let's zoom out a bit. Now to be on the safe side, let's just go ahead and save this. I'm just going to save it as a demo file and just save it as crop demo. There we go. Now the simplest way to do a crop in Inkscape is to actually overlay a shape on top. So let's get started with cropping by using the simplest shape possible. So in this case, we're going to use a rectangle. Now in Inkscape, cropping is actually done by overlaying another shape on top of the image that you want to crop. There is no specific crop function per se in Inkscape. So let's start with a simple shape. Like I said, a rectangle. Click on the rectangle here and let's just draw a rectangle. As you can see, it's just basically filled with white color. Depending on the default that you're using, it might have filled it with a purple, a red. It doesn't really matter. You could change the fill here using the color palette. Another area that you could change the fill is the fill and stroke toolbar here. And you can get there by clicking on it over here. Or if you're like me, I like to use the keyboard. Control Shift F will get you to the same spot. Now over here, we have a little bit more control with how we change the color. So we could use the color wheel over here. The color doesn't really matter. So I'm just showing this for you to demonstrate how we can actually change the fill. Now you could also change the stroke, but in this case we don't really care. So stroke is the outline. So I'm just going to go ahead and put no paint for the stroke so we don't get confused. Let's go back to the fill. The color doesn't matter. So let's just switch this to maybe a uh, purple. And what we can do now is I want to be able to see through this shape. We can adjust a couple of things. We can adjust the alpha to create some transparency and the other area that we can adjust is also the opacity. So in this case it doesn't really matter which one you adjust um, because there really isn't that much difference for what we're trying to achieve. Let me just switch down the alpha to let's say 33%. In that case I can see the image clearly and the area that we'd like to crop. Let's go back to our selection tool and let's just move this around and reposition our rectangle. We can resize it as we want. So let's say I kind of want to make it into a squarish crop, just like that. Again, this is not super accurate. And now let's say we're ready to crop this out. So what this is going to do is going to remove the image area that is outside of this square. So holding down the shift key, I'm also going to select the background image and I'm going to select the rectangle that we made. Go to object, go to clip, and then set. And as you can see, that has done the cropping for us. If you want to make some adjustments and you didn't like, you know, the, the result, what you can do now is to select this image, go to object, clip, and you do release. So it brings us back to these two images. And now what I can do is I'll click out and let me click back to my square here. And let's say I just want to adjust this just for demonstration purposes, just move it 
over here. Now let's say I'm ready to crop again. So I'll make sure to select all of it. The other way to select is also to just drag your cursor over the two objects. Go to object, clip, and set. There we go. So that's the simplest way to do a crop. As a bonus, we're going to expand upon this principle of cropping by using an object. So let me just release this. So we've used a very simple square shape, which is fine. But what if you wanted more fancy shapes? So you could also do this using a circle. So let's just see what that looks like. Go to object, clip, set, and have you got your circular crop? And let me just move this over so that we're not confused with this page size here. So we got a circular crop. So let's just do another example. Let's release this. And let's say we want to do a complex shape like a star, for example. We can do that object clip set. And we've got our star shape. And let's say I want to do, you know, some sort of like Photoshop kind of work where I want to crop around the edges of the image and I want to manually draw that. What we can do is to crop using a Bezier curve. So let's use the Bezier tool here. I'm just going to zoom in and let's say I'm just going to sort of make this bean shaped crop around here. Now this is going to start off a little bit rough, but we'll refine this in a second. And I'm just going to make sure to close that. Now I've got this polygon over here, which I created using the Bezier tool. However, it's a bit hard to see because the outline is in black. So what I can do now is I can select this object and using our fill in stroke, I can put a fill in there so that it shows. And I could even use a stroke paint. So let me just match it stroke paint to be pink shift hold down the shift key and click on that so that it's pink holding without the shift key it changes the fill if you hold down the shift key it changes the stroke so we can see that a little bit better now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the edit paths with the node tool here and now we can stretch this out just like you would We've got some handles here that we could use to change the shape. Now, this isn't going to be super accurate because we want to move through this example relatively quickly. So this is just a little rough. And obviously, you could be as accurate as you want to be in this situation. So we've got our basic shape here and we can do further refinements if you want. But for this example, I'm just going to leave it as is, but I'm just going to show you one more thing to help you out. You can actually add nodes in between, say you needed an extra node somewhere. I'm going to click on insert new node here and go back here and double click. And that will add a node that you can then play and adjust with. And if you don't need that node there, you can also remove the node. So make sure you click on the node that you want to delete, say this one, and then remove selected nodes. There you go. So I'm just going to undo that, Control Z. And let's say our shape is looking pretty good here and we are ready to crop. So again, the same principle, go back to our select tool. So we've got our outline selected there, holding down the shift key to select our image, go to object, clip, and set. We've got our bean shape here. So the last example I want to show you today with clipping in Inkscape is you could also do this with letters and numbers. Let's go ahead and add a text here. Let me just say type in something. It's quite small so you can't see it here. I'll just switch to the text and font here. So I'll zoom in so you can see. So I just put down today and Let's change this to a nice font. So we've got Bevan. Again, this depends on the fonts that you have installed in your system. I think Open, Open Sans is pretty standard. We'll do extra bold, apply, and I'm going to use the select tool to resize this. And I'm going to preserve the aspect ratio so that it doesn't look wonky when I resize. Let me just increase that. All right, maybe maybe today is not a great text. So I'm going to change this to smile. How about that? There you go. Now that's in black. 
gonna change that to white so that we can just see it a little bit better over that image. And let's resize this a little bit more. Let's say like that. So now let's try to clip this. So we go to object, clip, set. And now we've got smile and behind it is the image that you have cropped out. So if you can imagine, you could achieve some pretty cool results here with text type of crops. And really that's it for today. Hope you learned something. I would really appreciate it if you support the channel by liking this video and subscribing. I hope to do more tutorials in the future. Talk to you later. Bye.